about today, going back to the glorious, wonderful subject of heaven, and it has been my delight these several weeks now to deal with that subject and to declare that there is such a place and to share with you certain things regarding it that should make your mouths water, should give you a yearning and a longing to the point that you say, that is for me, that is something that I want. We've talked about heaven and some of the details that are associated with that. We've talked about the inhabitants of heaven. We've talked about the people that will be there and the people that will not be there. And I'm hoping that if you did not already have one, that you might have a thirst and a longing and a desire for that glorious, wonderful land. But ultimately, the question comes up, since there is such a grand place, and since it is the will of God that uh, all men would go there, Pastor, exactly what is it that I must do in order to be sure that I'm saved and that I'm going to heaven? That is one of the most important questions that you could ever ask due to the fact that we stated already, Jesus taught that many people who think they're saved are not. And many people who are very religious and are sure that if anybody's going to heaven, it's going to be me. And yet they're not case in point, Nicodemus. Case in point, he came to Jesus. He was a leader of the religious sect of the Pharisees, a doctor of the law, a learned man, a zealous man, an active man. He wasn't a common sinner. He wasn't an unbeliever. He professed to be a follower of the law of God and Moses and Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And yet he was lost. He was on the road to destruction and did not know it. Jesus taught in Matthew 7, the day is coming when multitudes will come before the throne of God who expect to be saved, who thought they were saved, who spent their lives in churches and doing religious work, they'll come to the end of the way to find out that they have been deceived and that heaven is not their home. Now, I don't want to make this sound more difficult than it is. It's easy to be saved and know that you're saved and know that you're going to heaven. It is so easy that a child would not err therein. And so don't get the idea that it's uh, going to be a few people there because it's so hard to find. It's going to be so few people there because many are deceived. And so friend, what you need to be sure of is that you are grounded in the way, the truth, and life and know that your belief is such that you're not going to be deceived you're not going to come to the end of the way and hear Jesus say, depart from me, I never knew you. That would be a tragedy. So, let's deal with that question today. What must I do to be saved? What must I do to know that I'm going to heaven? Well, first of all, don't rely upon tradition. You know, everyone has their tradition.